the truck feels I wish I'd lowered it before I done all the work to it now so here's where I'm at and I'm almost completely flat with this my thoughts are once I get everything compressed and I put these straps back together so I'll still need the original bolt that goes with this spring but for the most part that's completely flat and I will check the difference between that one and that one and I'm looking at that one as we'll say this substantially different that one is almost like perfectly straight I don't know how that's gonna work I don't know but the front shackle and all that it's gonna to attract now when it, it instead of expand so once i put it on the truck we'll see we'll see what happens i don't know if it's going to be too much hopefully i can get that other one together and we can figure out something today not too far from being able to run into town and grab what i need i think like i said where i'm at not much damage, not any damage here at my house, so we're uh, good on that one. Unfortunately, some people weren't so lucky, and so we can to help those people out. So I'm gonna have to get, now that thing is an absolute mess right now. So I gotta go get a, a center bolt couple of them put in those and get my springs painted and ready then I can get my axle back up on the counter put the brakes together have everything ready to go so when the springs are dry I can put my axle under it set it down and see where it lands or at least put the jack under it and try and jack the thing up with some weight and see if it if it's gonna to be too close to the pan. Uh, have a strange feeling it might be. But we'll see. And I think that's a good three or four inches of drop. And hey, if it doesn't hit if it if I've got a few inches of travel and I can put a hard stop in it and, or a bump stop, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because this isn't a truck that I'm going to take on family vacation. Well, I might. I might go somewhere a little further away. I guarantee it's not one I'm going to be driving every day. So I can deal with that. Well, I'm going to figure out what part store has this shit and go get it. Like a good three or four inch right now. So it's... It looks like it might go too far. Um, honestly, that that's what I'm thinking right now. Is flipping two of those is too much. We're gonna see what it looks like. If it's too much, then I, I gotta take it all back apart and do it again. Fuck it. I, you know what? I've I've taken this much apart. Let's <sighs> to this spring, I'm gonna re. Right, I'm gonna break this thing down. See how it comes out. And I'm thinking I'm gonna flip this one, the second spring, to here on top. Then I'm gonna flip this one on the bottom, pull them all together, and then put the center back in. So I'll flip this one and this one upside down to try and de-arch. Do my best to try and make this, this pack, stay exactly the same size. And I want us to keep it the same size because I still think that the side to side motion and the twist in the spring is a huge deal. So I need a C-clamp here. Two, one each side. See if I can pull that loose. At the same point, I need to take these out. So, all right, first thing. So we're gonna go with that. Here we go. So you ready? Tighten this up. Let's see if this works.
Yeah, somewhat. Still got that one. Okay, that didn't work. Buy script brand ones out because First thought is, yeah, put all this together. Flip that one, put it on top. Put the next one, put that one under. Flip the next one, put those. On.
There it is. That's put center bolt in. We should be good to go. Once center bolt, then I'll take the the C clamps off. But look at that. That's almost a straight spring. So considering that this little bit of arch right here won't put something up. Let's take a oh, look at the other spring. <clears throat> Holy shit. That is a big difference. Straight axle. Rearched by restacking the springs. You saw what I did. Strangely enough, even with the rake, it looks kind of cool. Yeah, I put the right wheels and tires on this thing now. Get the back where it needs to be. Yeah, I'm digging what I've got. Definitely cool. Oh, see if we can get anything under here. I don't have our light. I'm gonna see, there's my springs kind of de arched. I still gotta tighten the center bolt down real good, mushroom it out. Actually, there's good room around the oil pan. I was worried about hitting the oil pan, but. It would have to go way forward and it's not got enough room to go all the way up. So it's clear there. If all my steering linkages fit on it good, I'm okay with it. I'm digging it actually. I mean, see it's pretty close there, but a cruiser, this is a, this is nice. Kingpins, everything looks good. We've got some vinyl cleanup to do. But definitely a lower truck. The truck feels. I wish I'd lowered it before I done all the work to it now. Good lord, it's just so much easier to get to everything. Whew. So if you're wondering, can you drop the straight axle? It looks like it's very possible. I'm thinking a full flip on the uh, rear axle might be what I need. So if anybody's thought about it, it's doable. Front only, lowered. Tires right there at the fender well. Man, I'm telling you, right wheels and tires, this, yeah, that is nice.